Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at aligning the mirrors on your CO2 laser engraver. We're also going to look at cleaning the mirrors and the lens on this machine. Here's an overview of the equipment you'll want for this job. If you are aligning the mirrors on your machine, it's a great idea to be wearing some safety glasses that are rated for your machine. You'll need some masking tape, most types will do. You'll need a combination wrench that'll fit the locking nuts of your adjustment screws for your mirrors. Mine happens to be 5 millimeters. You'll want one of these mechanics mirrors. You'll want either some very fine tipped pliers or some ring clip removal pliers. Having both will probably come in handy. You'll want some sort of liquid to clean your lenses and mirrors with. I'll be using photography lens cleaner, but a lot of people recommend using rubbing alcohol. And last, you'll also want some sort of chamois to wipe your lenses and mirrors with. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to start up here by your laser head, as it's easier to show the process and how to do things up here. When you do your alignment, you actually start at your back mirror by your laser tube first. Your mirror sits inside this little compartment on top here that has the screws sticking out. In order to adjust your mirror, you simply turn these little thumb screws to adjust the angle of the mirror. In order to get the thumb screws loose so you can adjust them, you'll need to use your combination wrench to loosen the little lock nut at their base. So before you go and remove your mirrors for cleaning, it's a good idea just to use your mechanics mirror and a flashlight to inspect them. That way you don't have to go through the whole process of removing them to see if they are dirty. Having a quick look at this mirror, I could see that it does need a bit of a cleaning, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove it. The mirror is held in place by this little screw nut on top here. In order to remove this little ring nut, you're going to need to use either the tips of some very thin pliers or alternatively, you can use some ring clip pliers in order to turn this ring nut in order to remove it. Once the ring nut is removed, I'm going to use a Q-tip to push it out so I don't damage it. As you can see, this mirror does have some crud on it, so I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning it. To clean it, I'm simply just going to give it a little spritz here with my lens cleaner and then I'm going to use the chamois to wipe it down until I get a nice spotless finish. Once the mirror is cleaned, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the way it came out. Now I'm going to go ahead and replace the ring nut the same way it came off and I'm simply just going to tighten it down snug. You do not want to over tighten it as you may damage the mirror. Now we're going to actually start the alignment process properly and we're going to start it at the back of your machine where the laser comes out of your bulb onto the first mirror. Now before we do any adjustments, the first thing we're going to do is check the mirror to make sure it isn't dirty. As I'm having a quick look here, I can see this mirror is clean and therefore we can leave it as is. Now, it should be noted here that when you adjust the thumb screws, it only adjusts how the laser beam reflects off the mirror and not the way the laser beam is actually hitting the laser unit itself. If you need to adjust how the laser beam is hitting this particular mirror assembly, you'll need to loosen off these Allen screws and move this whole assembly back and forth or side to side. So let's go ahead and check to see the alignment on this first mirror assembly. You do this by taking a piece of masking tape and simply placing it over this little circle here where the laser beam enters the mirror. Once you got the masking tape on, just go ahead and hit the test fire button on your laser. You can now see how the laser beam is actually entering the mirror here. I'll just take this masking tape off so you could have a better look at it and you could see that indeed the laser beam is centered in the middle of the ring. Therefore there is no adjustments needed at this particular point. Next we're going to look at the mirror assembly that's on the side of your machine on the Y axis. We'll start by inspecting the mirror as normal to make sure it's not dirty. This one looks clean to me so we're not going to bother with doing any cleaning to it. With the mirror assembly pushed all the way to the back of the machine, I'm going to go ahead and add some masking tape to the little circle area here in front of it. I am then going to go ahead and hit the test fire button on my laser machine. As you can see, the test fire hole is off to the bottom right, so I can already tell that this is probably off alignment. 
We are then going to take the whole mirror assembly and slide it all the way forward. Here we're going to do another test fire. As you can see, this test fire hole is not even in the ring. This lets us know that the way the laser is hitting this mirror is out of alignment. What we're looking for is for the two test fire holes to be close to each other, if not on top of each other, and near the center of the ring. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to fix this misalignment by adjusting the bottom left hand thumb screw. I'm going to start by releasing the lock nut. I'm then backing off this thumb screw about an eighth of an inch. Now we're going to return to the side mirror assembly and repeat the same process of test firing the laser. As you can see the test fire hole is a little closer to the center now. We'll then move the whole mirror assembly down to the front of the machine and repeat the process of test firing the laser. As you can see this test fire is now also closer to the center of the ring. We're going to go ahead and back off this thumb screw another eighth of an inch. We'll once again place a piece of tape over the ring and test fire the machine again. As you can see it's closer to the center this time. We'll then move the whole mirror assembly all the way to the front again and once again do another test fire. As you can see this test fire hole is closer to the center and it's also very close to the previous test fire hole. This tells us we're on the right path and that our adjustments are getting close. I'm once again going to back the thumb screw off about an eighth of an inch and with the mirror assembly all the way to the back we'll do another test fire on a clean piece of tape. We'll once again slide it all the way forward, and here we'll do another test fire. As you can see, the test fire hole is pretty much on top of the previous one. They are also both fairly close to the center. Personally, this is close enough for me, so I'm going to go ahead and say that this particular mirror is aligned. Now I'm just going to go back to this rear mirror assembly and tighten the locking nut to make sure this thumb screw doesn't move at all. Now we're at the front of the machine and we're going to go ahead and align the laser to the mirror on the laser head. So same procedure as before. Let's go ahead and place a piece of tape over the hole. Let's go ahead and hit the test fire button and as you can see the laser mark is down and to the right so we know that this is off alignment already. We'll move the whole assembly off to the left and let's hit the test fire button again. This time the mark is closer to the center and you can see that both marks are considerably far apart so we have some aligning to do. I'm going to go ahead and using my little combination wrench here I'm going to release the locking nut on the bottom right hand thumb screw. I am then going to tighten this thumb screw about an eighth of an inch. Let's add a new piece of tape and test fire the laser again. And then move the assembly all the way over to the right. Here we'll do another test fire. And as you can now see the test fire holes are much closer together so we now know we're on the right track. I'm once again going to tighten the thumb screw about an eighth of an inch. Once again let's put a new piece of tape onto the mirror assembly and test fire the laser. And we'll move the whole assembly all the way to the left and test fire it again. As you can see the two burn marks are pretty well on top of each other and they're pretty close to the center so I'm going to go ahead and consider this mirror also aligned. Remember to go back and tighten the locking nut on your thumb screw. Now the last alignment we want to do is to make sure that the laser beam is going parallel up and down through the laser head assembly. To do this we're first going to need to remove the bottom of the laser head assembly. Start by using a jiffy marker to place an alignment line on this ring and shaft here. This will make reassembling it later much easier. You'll then want to disconnect the hose for your air assist. You can then go ahead and unscrew the lower portion of your laser head that contains the lens. Here you can see the lens sitting at the bottom of the laser head here. It's held in place with another screw ring. Now to check to see if the beam is coming parallel through the laser head, I'm once again going to use a piece of masking tape and place it over the bottom of the laser head like so. I'm then going to go and hit test fire on the laser. 
On removing the piece of tape, you can see where the test fire hole is. Mine is pretty well in the center of the circle, so I'm going to go ahead and once again mark this as aligned. If mine wasn't aligned, I'd go ahead and use the thumb screws at the top of the laser head to adjust the test fire burn marks so it's close as possible to the center of the hole. So at this point, your laser should be all aligned. The next thing you're going to want to do is go give your lens a cleaning since you already have the lens compartment already unscrewed. Just like the mirror, you're going to use some thin tip pliers or some clip removal pliers to turn and remove this ring nut. Once you have the ring nut removed, the lens will just pop out with it. As you can see, there is some smudging or what looks like hazing on this lens. So it's going to need a cleaning, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this lens. I'm going to do this the same way I clean the mirrors, by spraying on some lens cleaner, and then using a chamois to wipe it dry and clean. Once you have the lens all clean, you're going to want to make sure you drop it back into its housing, flat side down, so the lens will have two sides, one is flat, the other is convex, so make sure it goes flat side down. You can then reinstall the ring nut. You can use your pliers to turn it down to the bottom. Once you get it down to the bottom, you want to tighten it just snug. No more than that or you could damage your lens. Now it's just a matter of screwing your lens housing back onto your laser head. Go ahead and tighten it until the jiffy marker lines that we made when we were disassembling it line up. Now go ahead and reinstall your air assist hose. And at this point you're all done and your laser should be all good to go back into service. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched the other videos in this series on CO2 lasers for beginners, you can find a link for them in the description box below. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell to get notified on all my future releases. Thanks for watching everyone.